All right, folks, let's get real here. The truth is, 90% of you have shown unwavering support for me in this channel. Here at Daily Hub Ranks, we strive to deliver the most accurate and up-to-date information, especially when it comes to rumors about the PS5 Slim and Pro. I want to make it crystal clear that I firmly believe the PS5 Pro is on the horizon, set to launch in 2024. The evidence is too compelling to dismiss, and anyone who denies it, I'm afraid, hasn't been paying close attention to the videos or the sources I provide. Whether or not you believe we need a Pro model is frankly beside the point. The online community appears divided on this issue, but the arguments for the necessity of a PS5 Pro, presented by both myself and my most loyal subscribers, are persuasive and substantial. However, there's another topic that has been causing some uncertainty recently. The PS5 Slim. When the PS5 Spider-Man 2 bundle was announced for September, it sparked a wave of concern. Questions flooded in. What about the Slim model? Has it been cancelled or postponed? I addressed these concerns, and in doing so, I revisited all the evidence and rewatched my previous videos. My confidence was restored, but a sliver of doubt remained. It's astonishing how a handful of negative comments can shake one's conviction even in the face of overwhelming positivity. So for the past week or so, I've been digging deeper. I've revisited all the links, watched all the major YouTubers, and examined their viewpoints and findings. And I'm thrilled to report that I've uncovered some tantalizing details. Firstly, I want to introduce you to Tom Henderson. Who is he, you ask? He's an investigative journalist with a track record of accurate leaks, including the PS4 Slim and PS4 Pro, both of which were initially met with skepticism. He also leaked Project Q before its official announcement. Recently, he's been answering questions on Twitter. So here's the scoop from Tom Henderson. The PS5 Gen 2 or Slim model might not be as slim as we might expect. However, it's set to be a diskless version. And the key selling point of this new model is its enhanced efficiency and improved cooling system. Now, let's delve into the specifics of the new APU from AMD that's going to make all this possible. Courtesy of Zuby underscore tech, Tom Henderson, and Insider Gaming. The upcoming PS5 model is rumored to feature two significant technological advancements. Firstly, it's expected to house a 5 nanometers APU, a step down from the 7 nanometers APU in the original PS5. Secondly, it's speculated to forego the use of liquid metal. Why is this significant? Well, these modifications hint at a PS5 model that operates at cooler temperatures. A smaller APU also translates to lower energy consumption, reduced heat output, smaller die sizes, and ultimately swifter computational power. All these elements culminate in a more efficient gaming console. However, it remains uncertain whether these enhancements are intended for the new model that's likely to supersede the standard PS5 or if they're earmarked for the PS5 Pro. What we do know is that the PS5 Pro under development is slated to feature 30 WGP and 18,000 mount S memory, making it a superior system in terms of speed. With these recent revelations, there's one minor disappointment I'd like to address. The slim model may not be significantly smaller than the current PS5 diskless version. It might be a tad thinner, likely due to the absence of the protruding plates on the top of the console. However, the key takeaway here is that the PS5 Slim is set to be more efficient, cooler, slightly more compact, and most importantly, more future-proof. This makes it a compelling choice for those looking to invest in a console that will stand the test of time. I want to express my heartfelt gratitude for your unwavering support. You are the fuel that drives me, the reason I find myself awake at 4am, restless with the urge to bring you the most accurate and relevant information. You can see it in the comments section. I'm there engaging with you, providing detailed responses, sharing links, and participating in in-depth discussions. That's what sets this YouTube channel apart from the rest, in my view. My videos are essentially catalysts for conversation. But what's truly remarkable is when you, the viewers, contribute even more compelling arguments in the comments. So keep them coming, the good, the bad, I welcome them all. As always, I'm Ashley and I'll catch you in the next one.